think a day, and in fact, is today's part of a much larger celebration that the Department of Arts and Culture is doing called Africa Month. And the conference that we're at today is one of a second edition of attempts to make the circle bigger. For me, being Africa is an everyday celebration. And what's specifically um, different about this day is that you're much more bolder and you're celebrating it loudly. To some extent, the future of the arts in our country, the future of this sector, is as much the responsibility of the practitioners, of the citizens, of society, as it is the responsibility of the National Ministry of Arts and Culture. Africa means everything to me. I'm in Africa, Africa is my mother. You see we have guests and guest speakers from the continent because we really believe that dialogue, discussion, learning and academic discourse is an incredibly important part of learning about the continent and learning from each other on the continent. We know that in Africa in particular, culture is seen as completely necessary and part of our lives and part of who we are. What is our identity? How do we create meaning in our lives? What is our heritage? How do we think about ourselves? What is our sense of belonging? Two thirds of our advertising revenue in this country, the wealth flows offshore. We needed to create an awareness and a conscientize people behind this because people didn't know this. If our culture is our identity, why are we bringing someone else to come and find the most important aspect of our life? We are not taking advantage of the fact that most of our countries in the continent are navigating through painful and divisive histories and could thus turn to drama, music, film and literature to deal with that painful past. This release of artistic energy would provide us as a continent with opportunities to share stories of suffering and rekindle the ability to be artistic. So what SOCO, which is essentially a project that's been initiated in partnership with Nelson Mandela Bay University, Rhodes University and the University of Forte does, is do research on the wider sector in terms of a five-year research agenda which incorporates heritage, creative industries, culture, social cohesion, and really begins to coalesce and condense what we know to inform what we do and how we do it. I'm going to benefit because I'm hoping that the Department of Arts and Culture is going to take the important work that SACO is doing and actually use it to implement tangible policies that will be able to, to make lives of us creatives much, much easier. Being exposed to this has been quite beneficial to me. Um, seeing how the industry works, seeing how people think about things, how they interrogate certain subjects, you know, and sort of placing myself in that conversation as well so that I can begin to start interrogating these things. The conference has been great because it makes you realise how complex the issues are. What I found really useful is people from different backgrounds speaking so it wasn't just academic research which can get a little dry so I think it was a good mix of people so I'm going to take all that inside away. And I think that the conference is extremely well organised. What I take back is an introduction into the world of arts and culture. Very informative, it's been very diverse, I've met quite a lot of different people, um, young, old, so it's like intergenerational conversation. I'm taking the fact that um, there's still a lot of work that we still need to do and I'm grateful that I contributed as well. It was highly welcomed and I believe um, we need more of this um, sort of gathering um, for the space. A lot of things to take back and um, a lot of network and um, it, it's been a very great experience for me. It's never been more important to think about what role we play within this new economy because what we are able to make and think and dream becomes a reality. Thank you for your patience, for your time, and we truly hope to see you again next year. Watch the Seiko website and platforms for information and announcements on the 2018 conference.
And with that, ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to say that the Seiko Conf 2017 is a wrap. Thank you.